Hello, great morning everyone. Again, ako po si Teacher Ami from San Luis, Batangas. Our topic for this week in Mathematics 7, second quarter week number 5, is about the laws of exponents and its application. Our learning competencies are derives the laws of exponent and multiplies and divides polynomials. In the process of multiplication and division of polynomials, you need to apply the laws of exponents. Remember that exponent tells how many times or how many times the base will be multiplied by itself. Any number or a to the exponent of n where a is the base and n is the exponent. Example, 5 cubed or 5 to the exponent of 3 is equal to 5 times 5 or it means we multiply 3 times by 5. 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125. Or in terms of literal coefficient x to the exponent of 5. It means we multiply 5 times by x, x times x times x times x times x. So in our learning task number one, we need to simplify by writing in exponential form and write in expanded form. So number one, we have two times we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. How many times we multiplied by 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So therefore, our exponential form is 2 to the raised to the exponent of 6. Now, vice versa, we need to write in expanded form. The quantity 2x to the exponent of 4 or raised to the exponent of 4, it means we multiply how many times by 2x. So it means we multiply 2x times 2x times 2x times 2x. So my example number 1 naman ay example. So it means you can answer number 2, number 3, and number 4. And simplifying or in writing exponential form and in expanded form. Now, let us discuss the laws of exponents. The first or number one is the product law of exponent. Any numbers m or any letter represent to a number and exponent in terms of x and y or any uh, number represent as exponent. So, it means m raised to the exponent of x times m to the uh, raised to the exponent of y. It means we add the exponent of the same letter, the same literal coefficient. So, bring down m as the base and add the exponent x plus y. The base must be the same before you can add the exponents. We cannot solve or we cannot apply this product law of exponent unless the literal coefficient are the same. So once we multiply literal coefficient, it means we add their exponent. Example, so b squared times b cubed, it means we multiply b times b and b cubed means b times b times b. How many times we multiply by b? One, two, three, four, five. So b raised to the exponent of five. Or another, b squared times b cubed, b to the exponent of two plus three. So it we get the same answer, b raised to the exponent of five. So that is the product law of exponent. The second laws of exponents is the quotient law of exponents. So if the multiplication of the literal coefficient 
or the exponent of the literal coefficient is to be added and quotient laws of exponent we subtract the exponent of the same literal coefficient parehas ang letter so any numbers m where the integers x and y represent as exponent so m raised to the exponent of x divided by m raised to the exponent of y equals to m to the exponent of x minus y if x is greater than y then if x is equal to y it means m raised to the zero exponent and it is equal to y then if x is less than y therefore uh, m raised to the negative exponent or 1 over m to the exponent of y that is quotient law of exponents example a to the raised to the exponent of 5 divided by a raised to the exponent or a squared is equal to a which is the base subtract their exponent 5 minus 2 so it is equal to a cube so ito kung paano tayo paano natin i-apply ang quotient law of exponent so subtract natin ang exponent ng the same literal coefficient and multiply uh, in multiplication or in multiplying literal coefficient we add the exponent of the same literal coefficient another example a cubed divided by a cubed. So a raised to the exponent of 3 minus 3 and it is equal to a raised to the 0 exponent. And any, any uh, once or any number raised to a 0 exponent is always equal to 1. Next, if the given is a squared divided by a to the exponent of 4 or raised to the exponent of 4, it is equal to a raised to the exponent of 2 minus 4. And it is equal to a to the negative, uh, to the exponent of negative 2. Make it positive, so get it. It's reciprocal. So um, the quotient is equal to 1 over a squared. So this is quotient law of exponents. Okay, so na-discuss na natin yung first and the second one. Um, product of law of exponent and the quotient of law exponent. The third one is the power of a power rule. It means ang multiplier natin is an exponent. Any numbers, m and, and integers, x and y. The quantity, m raised to the exponent of x multiply by raised to the exponent of y. It means we multiply exponent to exponent. So m raised to the exponent of x, y. So example, a cube, a squared raised to the exponent of 3. It means we multiply 3 times by a squared. We apply the product of law. Uh, the product of uh law, yung number one law of exponent natin, which is a squared plus a squared plus a squared is equal to a to the exponent of 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to a to the 6. But if we apply the power of a power rule, which is multiply exponent to exponent, so we have a to the exponent of 2 times 3, and we get the same answer, a raised to the exponent of 6. That is power of a power rule. Another example. A squared or the quantity A squared over B cubed raised to the exponent of 2. It means if we apply rule number um, law of exponent number 1, which is the product law, A squared over B cubed times A squared over B cubed is equal to A to the exponent of 2 plus 2 all over b to the exponent of 3 plus 3 is equal to a to the fourth over b to the six. So, pwede ito pa rin. Kahit pa power of a power rule, still we can apply any laws of exponent. Then, if we apply the power of a power rule, 
A, the quantity A squared over B cubed time uh, raised to the se second exponent R squared, it is equal to A to the exponent of 2 times 2 over B to the exponent of 3 times 2 is equal to 2 times 2 is 4, so A to the 4th over 3 times 2 is 6, so it is equal to B over a B raised to the 6th exponent. So we get the same answer. And this is power of a power rule. Number four, power of a product. Ang power of a product naman ay multiply natin the same continuation lamang ng power of a power rule, which is power of a product. multiply natin ang exponent sa, la sa lahat ng terms na given. Example, the quantity mn to the exponent of x. So it means we multiply 1 times x is m to the exponent of x, n to the exponent of x. Example, the quantity 2ab raised to the exponent of 3. It means our multiplier is 3. Two, 1 times 3 is 3, kaya 2 cube. A, 1 times 3 is 3, and B, 1 times 3 is 3. And simplify our answer, what is 2 cubed? 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to A cube, A cube B cube. That is how we simplify and applying laws of exponents. Okay, the fifth laws of exponent is the power of a quotient. So any numbers again, M and N, X integers X. So M divided by N raised to the exponent of X equals to M raised to the exponent of X over N raised to the exponent of x. Example, 3 over 2 raised to the cube. It means 3 cube. 1 times 3 is 3, so 3 cube over 2 cube. What is the value of 3 cube? 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. Over 2 cube is 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. So the simplest form is 27 over 8. So the value of three cube, uh, three halves cube, raised to the cube, is twenty seven over eight. I hope clear. Po ang laws of exponents we have, we have, for this week. Now we are uh, we will proceed to multiplication and division. You can apply the laws of exponents in multiplying or dividing polynomials. Yun ay hindi po natin pwedeng kalimutan. Example, multiply 3xy and 4xy. So, application na ito ng ating laws of exponent. So, multiply numerical coefficient to numerical coefficient and apply the laws of exponents in literal coefficient. For the variable of x, add the exponent of the variable of x. Kung meron parehas na y, i-add at may, kung may parehas na variable of z. Therefore, we have 3xy times 4xz is equal to 3 times 4. x, we have the same 1 plus 1, y, z. Therefore, it is equal to 3 times 4 is 12. 1 plus 1 is 2, kaya x is squared, y, z. So this is the product of 3xy and 4xxz. Number two example. Find the product of 3abc and 4a squared plus 3a minus 5. Still, we apply distributive property of multiplication over addition. We use 3ab as our multiplier for every term of 4a squared, 3a, and negative 5. So we have 3abc times the quantity of 4a squared plus 3a minus 5. So 3abc times the first term 4a squared. Bring down the plus sign. Again, 3abc times the second term 3a. Bring down the minus sign. Again, 3abc times the third term 5. 
then simplify and again multiply the numerical coefficient to numerical coefficient and apply the laws of exponent for the literal coefficient. So 3 times 4 and A, 1 plus 2. Bring down B, bring down C. First term yun. Second term plus 3 times 3 for the variable of A, 1 plus 1. Bring down B, bring down C. And for the last term, 3 times 5, A, B, C. So therefore, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. A, 1 plus 2 is cubed. So 12 ABC plus 9A squared BC minus 3 times 5, 15, bring down ABC. So this is the product of 3ABC and the quantity 4A squared plus 3A minus 5. So careful in multiplying. Huwag kalilimutan. I-multiply ang number sa kapwa number. Apply the laws of exponent in literal coefficient. I-add ang exponent ng parehas na letter. So don't forget the laws of exponents in multiplying and dividing polynomials. Okay, what is the product of the quantity? m minus 4 times the quantity m squared plus 3m plus 7. So again, distributive property, pwedeng unahin natin si m minus 4 ang ating multiplier sa bawat term ng trinomial. So 4m minus 4, uh, 4m, m minus 4 times the quantity m squared plus 3m plus 7. It is equal to bring down m minus 4 times the first term of m squared. Then plus, bring down the plus sign. Again, m minus 4, bring down m minus 4 times the second term of 3m. Then bring down the, the plus sign of the third term. Again, m minus 4, bring down times the uh, 7, the, the third term. Then multiply 1 by 1 m times m squared. 1 plus 2 is equal to m cubed. 1 plus 2 minus 4 minus 4 m squared. Plus, again, m times 3m I 3m to the exponent of 1 plus 1 minus 4 times 3 I 12 bring down m. Then, the plus sign 7 times m is 7m. And minus sign bring down 4 times 7 is 28. Simplify the exponent. So we have m cubed minus 4m squared plus 3m squared minus 12m plus 7m minus 28. Combine similar terms, yan, nilinyahan nilin, nilin, ko na, in-underline ko yung magkaparehas. We cannot add or subtract unless the same literal coefficient, the same exponent. So, bring down m cube, negative 4, m squared plus 3, m squared, the sign are not the same, subtract 4 minus 3 is 1. Hindi naman sinusulat ang 1 m squared. And the sign of 4 is minus, kaya minus m squared. Negative 12 plus m plus 7m. Again, the sign are not the same. Subtract 12 minus 7 is 5n. The sign of 12 is minus, kaya minus 5m. Bring down minus 28. So therefore, the product of m minus 4 and m squared plus 3m plus 7 is equal to m cubed minus m squared minus 5m minus 28. I hope clear po. One by one, pwede rin po siya by vertical na one by one yung imumultiply ang m sa m squared, m sa 3m, m sa 7, then negative 4 times m squared, negative 4 times 3m, and 4, negative 4 times 7, still we get the same answer as m cubed minus m squared minus 5m minus 28. 
Now, find the quotient of 25, x raised to the exponent of 5, y squared, z cubed, divided by 5x, y cubed, z squared. So, from this, divide the numerical coefficient, 25 divided by 5, x, and subtract the um, exponent of the literal coefficient. The variable of x, 5 minus 1. Variable of y, we have 2 minus 3, and z is 3 minus 2. Therefore, we have 5, 25 divided by 5 is 5. x to the exponent of 5 minus 1 is x to the 4th. And y to the exponent of 2 minus 3 is y to the negative 1. And z to the exponent of 3 minus 2 is z1. So the negative literal coefficient make it positive by means of its a reciprocal. Therefore, our final answer for the quotient of the given is 5x to the exponent of 4z over y. Dahil ibinaba natin si y dahil ang exponent ng y ay negative. To make it positive, so ang reciprocal ng y is 1 over y. Therefore, y ay nasa denominator. Okay, I hope maliwanag at maunawaan po ang application ng laws of exponent. Okay, number five example, what is the quotient of 4x to the exponent of 8 plus 6x to the exponent of 6 minus 2x to the exponent of 4 minus 10x squared all over or divided by 2x squared? I divide natin siya by term, by 2x squared. So, it is equal to 4x to the exponent of 8 divided by 2x squared plus 6x to the exponent of 6 divided by 2x squared minus 2x to the exponent of 4 or raised to the exponent of 4 divided by 2x squared minus 10x squared divided by 2x squared. Okay, divide the numerical coefficient 4 divided by 2, x to the exponent of 8 minus 2, plus 6, x, uh, 6 over 2, or 6 divided by 2 to, to the variable of x, raised to the exponent of 6 minus 2, minus 2 divided by 2, variable of x to the exponent of 4 minus 2, minus 10 divided by 2, variable of x to the exponent of 2 minus 2. So, it is equal to the quotient is 2x to the exponent of 6 plus 3x raised to the exponent of 4 minus x squared minus 5x to the 0 exponent. Therefore, our final quotient is 2x raised to the exponent of 6 plus 3x raised to the exponent of 4 minus x squared minus 5. So, careful in dividing the numerical coefficient and, of course, applying the laws of exponent. Pag division, isinusubtract natin ang common literal coefficient and simplify our answer. Now, in dividing polynomials by another polynomial, you have to apply the following steps. The first one, arrange both dividend and divisor in descending or ascending powers of common variables, leaving a space or replacing a missing or the missing term with zero. Divide the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the quotient. Then multiply, multiply the entire divisor by term of the quotient and write the product under the dividend of similar. Number four, subtract similar terms. Apply rules in subtracting polynomials. Bring down and use dividend. Number six, divide the first term of the difference 
by the first term of the divisor to get the second term of the quotient. And number seven, step number seven, repeat steps three to six until the result of subtraction is zero or the degree of the term of the difference is less than the degree of the divisor. Divide 15n squared minus 2n minus 24 by 3n minus 4. So, trinomial by binomial. Naka-arrange na siya in descending order, exponent of 2 pababa. So, 15n squared minus 2n minus 24 divided by 3n minus 4, i-divide natin ang first term. 15 divided by 3 ay 5. n squared divided by n, subtract the exponent ay n. Then again, multiply the first quotient to the divisor. 5 times 3 ay 15. n times n ay n squared. Then, 5n minus 4 is minus 20n. Subtract, change the sign of the subtrahend. So, 15 minus 15, 0. Negative 2n or minus 2n or negative 2n minus negative 20n. Change the sign of negative 20 and to positive 20. So, subtract 20 minus 2 i 18 kasi positive n. Bring down n, then bring down minus 24. Repeat the procedure. We need to divide 18n to 3n. 18 divided by 3 is 6. n divided by n, 1 minus 1, 0. So 6 ang quotient, ang second quotient. Repeat the procedure. Multiply 6 by the divisor. 6 times 3n is 18n. And 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Change the sign. So the difference of 18n minus 24 minus 18n minus 24 is 0. Therefore, our quotient is 5n minus 6. So I hope for, for checking, for checking, multiply the two. 5n plus 6 times 3n minus 4, we get the same answer ng, ng dividend, which is 15n squared minus 2n minus 24. So 3, uh, 3n ang multiplier natin, 3n times 5n plus 6 minus 4 times 5n plus 6. So 3n times 5n is equal to 15n squared. And 3n times 6 is equal to 18n. Negative 4 times 5n is negative or minus 20n. Negative 4 times 6 is minus 24. Combine similar terms, so bring down 15n squared. 18n minus 20n, so 18 minus 20 is 2. And copy the sign of 20, which is minus, kaya minus 2n. And bring down minus 24. So, we have correct answer because we get the dividend of the given. So, example number two. Divide 6x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 divided by x minus 2. Again, observe natin ang dividend. x cubed, x squared, x constant. So, naka-arrange siya in descending order. And step number two, we divide the first term by the first term of the divisor. 6x cubed divided by x, 6 divided by 1 is 6. x cubed divided by x, 3 minus 1 ay 2. Kaya 6x squared ang first quotient. Then multiply 6x squared to x minus 2. 6x squared times x is 6x cubed. 6x squared times negative 2 is negative 12x squared. Then subtract. So 0 ito. Then this will become positive 12 minus 3 is 9. Bring down x squared. Then bring down plus 2x. Repeat the procedure. Divide the first term of 
the given to the first term of the divisor. 9x squared divided by x is 9. x squared divided by x is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. Kaya 9x is the second quotient. Then multiply 9x to x minus 2. 9x times x is 9x squared. And 9x minus 2 is my negative 18x. Then change the sign. This minus 18x will become plus. Kaya add, ito ay 0. Then 2 plus 18 is 20. Bring down x. Then bring down the last, the last term, which is plus 3. Then again, repeat the procedure. 20x divided by x. So 20 divided by 1 is 20 x divided by x, x to the 0. Because 1 minus 1 is 0 and any number raised to 0 is 1. Kaya 20 ang third quotient. Multiply natin si 20 sa x minus 2. So 20 times x is 20x. And 20 times negative 2 is negative 40. So 20 minus 20, 20x minus 20x is 0. And 3 minus uh, negative 40, change the sign will become plus itong 40, kaya 40 plus 3 ay 43. May natirang 43, this will become the remainder. Therefore, the quotient is 6x squared plus 9x plus 20, we have remainder of 3, kaya pwede siyang isulat ng 6x squared plus 9x plus 20 plus 43 over x minus 2. So, I hope clear how to divide a polynomial. So, apply the steps in um, dividing polynomials. Now, in learning task number two, letter A, simplify, apply the laws of exponent. Balikan po natin ang ating discussion about the laws of exponent. And perform the indicated operations and simplify your answer in letter B. So, careful in adding and multiplying the numerical coefficient and its literal coefficient. Don't forget to apply the laws of exponent. And learning task number three is problem solving. So, in number one, what is the area of the rectangle whose length is x plus 5 and width is x minus 5? So, apply what is our formula in solving the area of a rectangle and apply the laws of exponent to solve for the area in number one. Number two, what is the area of this square whose size measure is the quantity 3x plus 4? So find first what is the formula in solving the area of this square and apply again the laws of exponent in finding the product. Number three, the area of the rectangle is 3x squared plus 7x minus 6. What is the length if the width is x plus 7? So derivation of uh, formula in solving the area of rectangle. Then solve. In number three, you will use division. So careful in dividing. The number four, what is the average speed of the car that covers a distance of 2x a 2y cubed minus 7y squared plus 5y minus 1 kilometer in the quantity 2y minus 1 r. So solve first or find first what is our formula for the average speed of the car. And number five, multiply. Ayan lang, kita na. Multiply m squared plus 2m minus 2 by the sum. We need You need to get first the sum of m plus 3 and 2m minus 3. In adding, of course, add the numerical coefficient of the same term. I hope maliwanag at naunawaan po na ang bawat isa ang lesson natin for this week about the laws of exponents and its application. Huwag pong kalimutan na ia-apply natin ang laws of exponent in multiplying and dividing polynomials. So thank you for your watching. Thank you also for your time. Keep safe everyone. God bless.